Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and in the wake of everything getting AI we take a closer look today at something that takes note and summarizes it and arrange everything in a way you may need or may not need I don't know a okay, mob boy take note Bada bam. But calling it a voice recorder is a little bit of an understatement. It's a full on AI note taker, or at least that's the official pitch. Its job is to record important conversations, summarize the key points, and keep it all organized for you. But the real question is does it actually deliver that promise? And that's what we're here for. So we take a closer look. And as always, a product journey starts with a box. And that's the box. Let's use these straps to... Welcome to Mobboy Ticknote. Great. Another safety invariant. And here we have the device itself. Mm. Really sleek. Really sleek. Cool design. And that's the look without the pouch. Quite clean, minimalistic, cool design. Let's peel that off. Does it power on out of the box? Or is it locked right now? Here we have some accessories. A charging cable, magnetic. Slips right into it. And here we have a great addition if you don't own an iPhone, tape that magnet on the back of any phone you own, so you don't need to have an iPhone. That's great. Okay, for a second I thought the tick note is broken, but it was just fully discharged and the provided charging cable refused to work with most of my charging bricks so keep that in mind when you get yours it's not broken maybe try just another charging bridge uh, brick <laughs> and probably it will charge just fine i couldn't point my finger onto which brick i have to use but i found one and <laughs> to be precise it's one of these older huawei supercharge uh bricks that puts out five volts two amps or nine volts i mean the packaging says it needs a rated input from five volt and and uh, 0.5 amp input but i tried different five volt charges and this was the only one that worked but yeah just wanted to mention that don't be afraid if you can't start it up on the first try try another charger it will probably work. So yeah, let's dive deeper now into the feature set of that little tick note. Honestly, this thing is just tiny. It's literally the size of a credit card, which is pretty wild. So just look at it. <laughs> it really has the exact same dimensions as a credit card. <laughs> That's fun. As for the device itself, it's super minimal. You've got a power button right here and a toggle for a couple of different recording modes. The OLED glance display gives you all the essential informations you need. No speakers, no headphone jacks. It's just a clean focused piece of tech. With 64 gigs of storage, it will hold something like 800 34 hours of audio and the battery is a beast giving you up to 25 hours of continuous recording so yeah long conversations incoming so the whole travel ready thing is no joke the magsafe compatibility is a nice touch too you can just snap it on the back of your phone with their included leather wallet or if you're not on a magsafe phone then you can throw on that ring i showed you earlier but keep in mind that you need a really big phone <laughs> for the pouch to fit perfectly because here you can see the camera module is interfering with the pouch and so we can't bring it completely to a, so that it doesn't sit perfectly on the back so it really stands a little bit over and yeah i'm a big fan of having a separate device for a dedicated job so my phone has enough to worry about you know 
But the real brain of the operation is an AI system they call Shadow AI. It's what takes your raw audio and turns it into something generally powerful. But less talking, more showing. I tried it out right away and talked about the project right here. Or rather just rambled a bit freely that I'm supposed to make this video and spoke a little vaguely about the features of the tick note itself. And this here is the result of my two and a half minute long monologue about the new tick note from Mobwire. It's simply wow. But one step at a time. What you're seeing here, by the way, is the web interface, your tick note studio, but you can experience the same feature set on your smartphone. The app is available for iOS and Android, but since you usually sit in front of a computer, or at least I do when I work, I prefer the web interface. And they call this the TickNote Studio. And here you find all your projects. Doesn't matter if you created them on your smartphone or directly in the web interface. And you can even organize them into projects. So a project doesn't have to be only one recording made with TickNote. You can also upload any audio file you own and let it transcribe here and let it flow into your project. But what can we do in the studio? Here we have the document overview just pointing out what this whole conversation is about and we see it filtered out the key information so it's and brainstorming about a product review and the main topic is conceptualizing a video and feature overview of an AI enviable device. That's great stuff here. We have here main content points which could help you to create the video afterwards because we need to talk about the physical features, the usage, how the AI is integrated, the creative utility. Great stuff. Important details, stuff that the AI thinks are important and it also creates a little to-do list uh, or some stuff that needs to happen next and then you can just check it here. Or you can look at the mind map where all your key talking points are mapped out visually. Very good stuff for any brainstorm process. Then also we have the aha moment <laughs> where the tool just shows you what it thinks is the most important part of the conversation. So if you are really excited in a, a recording about a special feature you will find it here and then you have the research report a great thing where you can dive deeper into the topic that shadow ai thinks this all conversation is about so uh, this research topic i have prepared for you suggests a research report on emerging ai assisted uh, micro hardware for creative productivity and spontaneous ideation so yeah let's start the research and let's see what this tool has to offer take some time and here it is our research report about emerging ai assisted micro hardware for creative productivity and spontaneous ideation and we have a real long paper here that also comes with the references of all that content, which is great if you really want to dive deeper into the topic, but that's a good read about the topic. Also, great stuff for brainstorming. And here's an extra cool thing. Once your notes are summarized, you can turn them into natural sounding audio. It's like having your own little mini podcast so you can listen back while you work, commute or multitask and I don't know, have a different layer of interpretation of the information you process. <laughs> Just listen to it. Oh, totally. When they said credit card size, I was like, no way, but it actually is. That's insane for all the tech packed in there. Right? And the MagSafe compatibility is genius. Just snaps right onto my iPhone without any fuss. Wait, what about Android users, though? I mean, most of my team rocks Samsung's. Good point. They've got this clever workaround. Comes with a magnetic ring that sticks to any phone with 3M adhesive. Not quite as seamless as MagSafe, but gets the job done. Hmm. How cool is that? <laughs> So who's this thing really for? The company says professionals, but honestly, it's for anyone who's ever sat through a meeting or a call and thought, oh my God, I'm never going to remember all that. <laughs> it's worth mentioning that you've got a credit system for the fancier AI features. Basically, you get 300 credits per month. They refill every month. And on the other hand, if you buy one right now, you even get three pro memberships 
for free. And that's it from my side about the Mob White Tick Note. And I have to admit, I'm impressed and a little bit frightened. Let me explain. The thing is impressive, or at least that whole experience is impressive. I don't know what really is going on inside of that little credit card sized device, because I mean, of course, there has to be memory inside and there has to be a microphone inside. But beside of that, the main part is happening in the software, in the app, in the AI processing of all the information that Sing records. And that is done really well. That whole breakdown of conversations, including all those ideas it comes up or that even the to-do list it creates out of that and the mind mapping feature or the, the, the idea to create different documents out of conversation insane i mean i know it's not the only device that does that and we already have tested other devices from other brands but whatever i i'm really impressed by this new generation of tech we're seeing here and in the case of the tick note it's really working because it's not just a promise it works never disappointed in that testing phase of mine so it's really impressive. What frightens me a little bit is the job security for project managers because this thing or this whole experience about the Tigno, that's something that pretty much replaces that stuff that normally project managers do. I mean, of course, the human um, angle is missing still. It's just a very dry interpretation of all the facts in a meeting or stuff like that. So please don't replace a project manager with a device like that. Just gift them one. They will thank you because this is really meant for people like that. They will have such a great time focusing on all the great and important stuff in the work and can let that whole summarizing of meetings and email conversations and chat conversations and to summarize the follow-up emails let them do that. We don't need humans to do that anymore. And that's a great thing. And if you want to know more about the Mobboy Tick Note, check out the descriptions to find all the links you need about it. And if you have any questions, drop us a comment. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so we can see each other next time. And so long, I wish you a beautiful day and take a lot of notes or let them interpret by the AI and I don't know where this ends and I just say bye bye.